This is a video to show how to access the OMS, the onboard maintenance system, on the G280. The first thing you're going to want to do is select half on the display select panel. Then on the display control panel, you have an op you can use either DU3 or DU2 left or right. We're going to highlight DU2 right. Then you'll want to select maintenance manager. Once that is done, the, it comes up on the DU2 uh, right hand side. To access over here is the cursor control device. This is what controls the, the OMS. So there's several functions here. This right here is what moves the target in the uh, OMS that highlights it. The scroll is what you use to scroll from page to page, uh, especially on the fault menu. And then the trigger is, is what, once it's highlighted, you hit the trigger and it'll pull up what was highlighted. So we'll go back over to DU3, DU2. We're going to select the menu. This is everything, once it's highlighted in the menu, this is when you pull the trigger and uh, it'll, it'll take you to what's highlighted. Right now, we will go into fault messages. These are currently what is displayed on the aircraft. As you can see, there are two pages. Once again, we'll take the uh, scroll wheel on the cursor control device and move from page one to page two. We will then go again to the menu, highlight it. We will go down to service messages. This is the functional status of the engines that are showing that they're both clear at this time. We can go back up to the menu and we can go down to system parameters. Right now the right hand engine channel B is selected. We can change that and see what right hand engine channel A looks like. We can go back up and check the left engine channel A and the left engine channel B. From there, we go back up to the menu. Again, you can once it's highlighted, you can select anything um, that's highlighted. We can check for exceedances and none to report. But that's basically what you'll how you access the OMS on the G280.